Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we're going to discuss the process of aging. What is aging and what are the key factors that are responsible for aging? We're going to also discuss the molecular mechanism associated with the process of aging. Before we start with the presentation, I have a small request to make. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. Now without delay, let's move on to the presentation part. Aging is a process of becoming older. The term refers specially to human beings, many animals and fungi. Whereas, for example, bacteria, plants and some simple animals are potentially biologically immortal. Interesting fact is that the plants are potentially immortal organisms that will live forever if their environmental conditions are met. Plants only die because of starvation or disease. If their needs are met, they will grow indefinitely. In the broader sense, aging can refer to single cell within an organism that has ceased dividing. This process is known as cellular senescence. In humans, aging represents the accumulation of changes in a human body over time, including physical, psychological and social changes. This also includes the reaction time. Aging is among the greatest known risk factors for most human diseases. Roughly 150,000 people die each day across the globe. About two-thirds die from age-related causes. In 1934, it was discovered that calorie restriction can extend lifespan by 50% in rats and this has motivated research into delaying and preventing aging. The cause of aging is uncertain. Certain theories are assigned to the damage concept, whereby the accumulation of damage such as DNA oxidation may cause biological system to fail, or to the programmed aging concept, whereby internal processes such as DNA methylation may cause aging. In humans and other animals, cellular senescence has been attributed to the shortening of telomeres at each cell division. When telomeres becomes too short, the cell die or cease multiplying. The length of telomeres is therefore the molecular clock of the cell. Early life forms on Earth, starting at least 3.7 billion years ago with single-celled organisms, such organisms that include prokaryotes, protozoans, algae, multiply by fission into daughter cells, thus do not age and are innately immortal. Aging and mortality of the individual organism become possible with the evolution of sexual reproduction, which occurred with the emergence of the fungal animal kingdoms approximately a billion years ago and evolution of seed producing plants over 320 million years ago. Even within humans and other mortal species, there are cells with the potential for immortality, cancer cells, which have lost the ability to die. In cell culture experiments, adult cells can be rejuvenated to embryonic status and then used to grow a new tissue or animal without aging. Normal human cells, however, die after about 50 cell divisions in laboratory culture but cancer cell keep dividing forever in laboratory culture in my opinion the answer for immortality lies in cancer biology we need to think cancer as a process that can lead us to the answer to immortality now it's time to discuss interesting facts about aging Teenagers lose the young child's ability to hear high-frequency sound above 20 kHz. Wrinkles develop mainly due to photoaging, particularly affecting sun-exposed area like face. After the age of 30, the mass of the body is decreased until 70 years and then shows damping oscillations. People over 35 years of age are at risk of developing presbyopia and most people benefit from reading glasses by age 40 to 45. 
gray hairs and pattern hair loss by the age of 30 to 50 affects about 30 to 50 percent of males and many females. In females, menopause typically occurs between 49 and 52 years of age. Almost half of people older than 75 have hearing loss inhibiting spoken communications. By age 80, people either have a cataract or have had cataract surgery. That was all about the process of aging. I really hope this video was helpful for you to understand the process of aging. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for new videos. If you like the video, please do not forget to hit the like button. Thank you and take care.